in this session we will look at access control list in s3 so for that i will go to my bucket bucket skill curve one in here you can see that i have these four objects one is the folder and the rest three are the pdf files i will go to the permissions tab and in the permissions tab scroll down till you see access control list so here you can see that we have access control list and it is disabled as of now the reason is when we created the bucket we selected the object ownership so we are ourselves the owner for this s3 bucket and the objects that are inside the bucket so when you are yourself the owner of this bucket in that case you need to control the access to your buckets and the objects with the help of bucket policies in order to disable that you need to go to the bucket ownership option so here is the object ownership option click on edit and click on acls enabled so this will control all the actions with the help of the acls if you select the acls enabled option then you need to acknowledge and then click on save changes the next thing is we will go to the acl and now you can see you have the edit option enabled so i will go to this edit option so these are all the acl settings for the bucket level so you have grantee over here so grantees are the bucket owner so you yourself or the aws account from which the bucket was created so they can actually list down and write objects inside the s3 bucket and then there is the public access so now you can see that public access is disabled so then there are some authenticated user groups if you have a particular group in your aws account that you want to give access to so you can do that as well but that can only be to list the objects and they cannot write inside the s3 buckets then you have the s3 log delivery group and the important thing is the add grantee so you can also add another aws account that can list and write objects inside the s3 bucket so for that you go to the add grantee option and you need to enter here the canonical id so for an other aws account you can find the canonical id from the options you need to go to the security credentials from the root account for the particular aws account that you want to give the access and then over there you can find the canonical id for the particular account so as of now we won't be going into that part so i will remove it so i will go back to the objects and i will show you how you can grant access to the object level with the help of acls so if you go to the first file over here so this is a pdf file and if you try to access with the public url you will see that you get an access denied message over here so i will go back and i will go to the permissions and inside the permissions you can see over here when i go to edit so when i try to grant everyone the public access so you see that this is disabled now this is because the public access for this bucket is not enabled so the first thing is you need to go to the bucket properties so i will go to the bucket permissions over here and over here i will edit and instead of unchecking all the options i will just uncheck the first two options so these are related to the acls if you see over here so what this will do is whenever you create a new access control list so in that case that particular acl will perform its action and it will allow you to access the buckets and those objects with the help of the new acls that you create now if in any case you try to disable this whenever you create a new acl that won't work because the second option will disable the acls that are created so you need to make sure that you uncheck both of these options and then save changes and obviously you need to confirm the changes as well click on confirm the next thing is again i will go to the object so this is my object and i will go to the permissions and in the acls i will go to edit and now you can see over here that the everyone public access is read as of now you can actually disable and enable it as well and also you can give permissions to some of the authenticated users in your group who own an aws account so if you see over here we allow the read read access and then you need to obviously understand the effects of the changes on this object and then save changes so now if you go and access the public url you can see that you have the access to this particular file now if i go back to the bucket properties and in there i go to the permissions and i only disable the access control list and save changes by confirming it so now you can see that you do not have the access to that particular object the reason is even if you have created that acl this check mark on the block public access to buckets and object granted through any access control lists 
will be active and it won't allow any ACLs to allow public users to access your content in your AWS S3 bucket. With this, I hope you have got an understanding of how ACLs work with S3 buckets in AWS.